Princess Rainbow is one of the world's most beloved, iconic pop culture characters. One of? From her first appearance on screen in 1946, still banned in Brazil, through her many movie sequels, books, TV shows, and theme park attractions, she is known around the globe as the embodiment of wonder, imagination, love, and the visible frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum. Please welcome Princess Rainbow. Hello! This is the time of day I usually give hugs to kids in wheelchairs, but let's talk. You rarely do interviews. What's the occasion? Why, it's the 10th anniversary of the park being on Twitter. And I'm contractually obligated to promote it. Are you on Twitter yourself? I am, but I let the Russian bots do all the work. Most fans know that your little sister is also a park princess. What's it like working with her? Well, this interview is supposed to be about me, but Princess Cupcake is working very hard and is definitely starting to get the hang of it. Since she's your sister, is she next in line for the throne? <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me this was a comedy show. What do you enjoy most about interacting with guests? Oh, I love it when children talk to me about the events in my movies. But sometimes they haven't seen the latest movie and all their stories are out of date. And then I am very disappointed. What about when adults talk about your movies? It's pathetic. What's your favorite Princess Rainbow themed attraction? Why? Are they shutting one down? No, no. Just asking. <sighs> Good. Well, this might sound modest, but my favorite is probably Princess Rainbow's Princess Rainbow Parade of Rainbows featuring Princess Rainbow. I see. Is there... Least favorite would be Princess Rainbow's fried squid on a stick. What's the best part of your day? Mm, probably my union lunch, union breaks, union rests, union prep time, union recovery time, and union walk time. Do you have a favorite park memory? Ooh, let's see. Oh, once a little girl was crying because she wanted to meet Princess Snowflake. But, of course, Snowy was filming a TikTok for her personal account. So I sat with the little girl and I told her all about my adventures and how I was there for her when Snowflake wasn't and how I'm the superior princess in all ways and how Princess Snowflake isn't worthy of her love because she's a piece of pierced, tattooed valley trash. By the end, the girl was smiling and laughing. Rainbow one, Snowflake zero. Is there a prince in your life? Oh, I've dated plenty. And I've found that there are two kinds. The ones who think they're better than me, and the ones who think they're equal to me. They're both wrong. But don't you see yourself one day marrying and having a family? Ugh, I think I'm going to be sick. Do you want to comment on the selfie stick incidents? Actually, if it's okay, um, I'd like to read a prepared statement. <clears throat> I'm shocked and saddened by the excessive force that was used by me in the incidents of May 21st, June 6th, June 14th, and July 20th. While such action is never justified, I believe in all these cases it was justified. Thank you for supporting me as I support you during your support. What's next for Princess Rainbow? I'm really looking forward to my new entertainment complex with a ride, a show, a restaurant, and five gift shops. Hard to believe there was a veteran's nursing home there just six months ago. Any final thoughts? I just want all the children of the world to know how much I miss them and want to see them again. Is there some way they can contact you? No. Princess Rainbow, thank you for coming on. I get final approval before this gets posted, remember? <laughs>